Why? Because it looks like a whale? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, look at that. It moves. It moves. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so here's our ball launcher running out of Arduino. We're using an airplane propeller and just a little standard RC wheel. Um, and so I'm going to hit the power. Hit the button whenever you're ready. <laughs> yep, let's see if it hits me. <laughs> I'll be happy if it hits me. Yeah, it only goes for a couple seconds. Just hit the button again. <laughs> We're now testing the power distribution board and tape sensors. Green indicates white. Uh, no green indicates black. So here we go. And we're on black. We're on white. And we're on black and we're good. All right. So we are driving our LED bank using a TIP22 and a 5.5 volt regulator. It's the top of our power distribution board. The bottom, though, enabled and driven by one pin on the Uno, as seen here. So if I hit the reset and I'll hit it, boop, it should all be on, it should shut off within three seconds, and it does, and it should shut back on in three seconds, and it does. And as you can see, the tape sensor itself can detect dark based upon that green LED. So if I make it really dark, it turns on. And that's our power distribution board. Take two of the... Uh tape sensor. <clears throat> so these little LEDs indicate whether we're seeing white or black. You can see that it shuts off on top of the black, so on. But uh, on top of that, we're hooked up to the digital output. You can see that at green, it's about 2.6 volts. We hit black, we go up to 3 volts. We have our thresholds. Keep going, bring it over. See that works relatively quick. So we are testing our analog multiplexer. We got zero volts, 1.65 volts, and 3.35 volts going on the input. It's being switched in three ways, indicated by the LED. Select zero, one, and two. Here's the All right, we have our motors going, Rear running off the H bridge. What is it? Greer to sit, 120 RPM. Okay, so we're gonna hit it, and um, basically, as you can see in the code, I'll look at the code first. Open the port that is, we'll look at the code. <laughs> um, and you just saw motor stop. One more time. <laughs> so we should be going forward, then we should be going one forward, one backwards, and then we should stop. So let's do this again. Let's take a look at the motors. And both going forward, A forward, B backwards, and stop. That's our motors.